So I was going through some of my past episodes of Ask Amy and looking at questions that people had sent in. So I'm going to recap some of the really good ones that I got that I probably didn't have a chance to answer on the air. One of them was, what are your core values in your professional life? And I'm going to say my core values in my professional life are going to be the same as in my personal life because who I am as a person obviously bleeds over into who I am as a professional. And when I was growing up, my mom raised us in church and she taught us do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And then my dad said, if you're going to do a job, if you're going to do something, you need to do it to the best of your ability and be the best at it. And so I have kind of taken both of those concepts and, and blended them together. I try to treat everyone the way I would want to be treated. If I have a client, it doesn't matter if it's a $50,000 house or a million dollar house. I try to treat each client with the same amount of respect, the same amount of courtesy, and give them the same marketing on their homes, regardless of the price of that house. I'm not going to be the person that blows smoke everywhere. I'm pretty down to earth. I'm going to be blunt and I'm going to be honest with you. So if I come look at your house and I see issues that I think we need to address before going on the market, I'm going to tell you that. A lot of people appreciate that about me. There's people who don't. And I have turned off potential sellers because I pointed out things in the house that they didn't feel like were a big deal and it made them mad. So I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I do try to treat everybody fairly and equally regardless. Another question I got was, how do you spend your time outside of work? And the honest answer to that question is, I'm raising a four-year-old. So I don't really get to choose what I do with my time outside of work. When I get off work, I go home and I'm getting supper ready and we're playing and then we're getting bath time and reading bedtime stories and that kind of stuff. So. I don't really have a life outside of work other than the fact that I'm a grandma right now. Next question is, what are some goals or aspirations that you have for the future? Being a realtor, to me, I have to set goals for myself because otherwise, how do you know if you're making the mark if you're not setting goals? And that's a new concept for a lot of people. I know agents that say, well, what's your goal for next year? And they're like, close as many deals as I can. And I'm, I'm not that way. I was a business management major in Carson Newman, and so we were taught that goals have to be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, and you have to have a timeline and all that good stuff. So I do set goals for myself. Those are not goals that I normally are going to verbalize on camera, but I have them written down. I have things that I want to achieve not just in my professional life, but in my personal life as well. So I am a goal setter and I'm finalizing my 2024 goals as we speak.